So now let me show you how to do const data members inside of a class. Declaring uh, const data in a function is rather straightforward. We just put const in front of it. And generally in C++, the convention is to uppercase them. Anyway, but and that's not a problem because we're also defining my value here. And um, actually, because it's const, the compiler can literally just take this 5 and paste it everywhere that we see my value. Now, data members in a class is a little bit differently. Different. If I say const, and I don't know, let's just say each cow has an ID, um, then we need a way to initialize ID. And I can't just turn around and say he gets 9 here. All right. Uh, the compiler will complain. Let's build this, and you can see cow only static constant. Data members can be initialized within the class. So it's not static, it's const. Um, there's still RAM to it. It's part of this cow every time we define an instance. And we just can't assign it arbitrarily out here like we're used to in C Sharp or Java. You can do that in C Sharp or Java. So what we have to do is be uh, a little more explicit. In the compiler here, we can go down here. And I could try to turn around and say ID gets 5. And if ID wasn't const, this would work out just fine. So the problem is ID is const, and so I can't just assign it. Yeah, and you would think that this is the earliest point inside the constructor that we could initialize ID, but the actual way we do that is through a lot like how we call base class constructors in a previous video. We just say ID in 5 here. And now ID will take that value. And so I could I could make this a little more dynamic and say my ID here and then initialize it with my ID. I'm just doing this to prove that ID is an actual runtime value. I'm going to move the public up here so I can directly access it. So now down here, let's just say C cow C and let's give him an ID of 5 and let's do C2 and give him an ID of 13 and then down here say C out C dot ID and line and C out C2 dot ID and there's my outlook popping up in front of the screen. Anyway, run this. And we see 5 and 13. So that's how you initialize um, const, const values is simply in this. It's called the initializer list after the colon here. We're initializing ID uh, to its const value. I can put static here, but now all of a sudden, and it's generally if something's const, you might want to make it static. But then we have to define this in the compilation unit. Go if, if that doesn't make sense to you. Go watch the video on static data uh, again, just so you can refresh your memory there. Because uh, it's, static and const are not the same thing. Const means you can't change it. Static just determines where its storage is located, whether it's one uh, one value per instance of a cow or one value for all instances of a, instances of a cow.